Hey, hello, hello. So, okay, well, we are here. We are here and we are ready to go. Um, guys, hi, welcome everybody. Good to see you here. So, so very exciting. Hi. Let's turn on the chat. Okay. So this is the first time that I'm doing a webinar with you guys live one on one, just you and me. And uh, we're going to have some fun. I'm going to bring you on. We're going to have some conversations. I'm going to ask you questions. Um, you know, I want you to ask me questions. Uh, if you've got a story to tell, you know, let me know. Um, let's really make this intera interactive. Let's make this a lot of fun. And let's teach you some valuable, valuable stuff. Um, so what I want to do is I want you to just say hi, just so I can say hi back, you know, just start feeling that connection. Sherry, <laughs> Sherry, beautiful Sherry. Sherry got into horses. Um, Sherry came uh, and she did a, um, a video testimonial for some videos that I have coming up and ended up talking to another lady who was here giving her video testimonial. Uh, Laura, hi from Texas. Hi, Laura. Uh, and Sherry ended up talking to Melissa, who is a Canadian cowgirl. So it's like basically they tour around with their horses. They do these amazing shows. And uh, Sherry's now taking horseback lessons because she felt inspired. Deanna, hi, lovely. Hello, Deanna, local lady. Uh, Deanna's done some work with me, um, and and we've gone pretty far, I think, and we might be doing some more from what I hear. Um, okay, so happy to see you guys. We got we got a couple more kind of hanging back there. Um, ladies, say hi. Just you know, let me know you're here. Let's let's feel that connection. Let's get you into the conversation. Really want to kind of feel like this is a room like this is we are we are here we are a classroom we are together we are learning together um making those connections really just just kind of creating that vibe that energy of support and uplift i love that uh i want to know are there any technical issues how's the sound how's the image if somebody can chime in and, and tell me what you see, what you hear, if everything is good on your end. Jennifer, hi. Jennifer, where are you from? Let us know. I'm curious. Um, yeah, so just, just let me know how things are going for you. Uh, if I can fix something, then I definitely will because I do want this to be a very pleasant experience. Uh, I do live out in the country, which means that, oh, Deanna says everything is good. Um, so. Here's what I did this time that I, I that was different from last time. I plugged into my Ethernet last time, but I didn't turn off my Wi-Fi. And I think it was still, Laura, Laura says everything is good. Colorado, wow, great Colorado, Jennifer. Um, so I think we're going to get a better image this time. Let me know if it's choppy. I'm curious about that. Um, but I think this time everything's going to be good because I turned off the Wi-Fi and I'm plugged into the Ethernet. So there's a little bit more of a direct connection. Um, hopefully it stays really good. Uh, being out in the country, I don't get my internet feed through cable. I get it off the uh, dish on the roof. Um, and apparently in the summertime, when there's a lot of leaves on the trees that can cause a little bit of an issue with signal, but everything is looking good. Um, let me see. I want to see. I'm playing around with this a little bit, guys. Um, display number, request to speak. Okay. Um, we got the chat open. Oh, is that Latoya? Latoya. Hi, Latoya. I believe this is this Latoya from Alberta. I'd like to know. Um, let me see what we got here. Okay. Uh, I was kind of wondering if I could, if I could sort of show you guys you know kind of bring you guys into like sort of like a chat room kind of thing and um oh maybe wait a second um okay well anyways if you yes alberta hi all right good stuff so if you guys uh if there's something you want to chime in something you want to say a story you want to share a question you want to ask um i can bring you in live let me know and uh and and you can you can chat with the room as well which would be really fun 
Um, and in the meantime, let's get into the lesson because our, our first webinar was two and a half hours and God bless you guys, you freaking stayed. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that every time. I want you guys to get your sleep. We need our beauty sleep, ladies, don't we? So let's bring up the presentation for tonight. Um, uh oh. Hold on. Huh. Uh, guys, I'm having a minor technical issue because I uploaded a presentation, but I don't see the presentation. Well, you know what? Hmm. Oh, well, I can upload. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. When there's when you're doing something for the first time, it seems there's always going to be some kind of issue. So it says we're uploading, which it said it was doing before. But I guess what happened was it didn't upload it. Maybe I shut it down before confirming. I'm not sure. So we're just going to give it a little bit of time. Um, and we're going to let this upload. Um, I was wondering. Uh, so let's ask a question while we're waiting for this. Um, OK, so it's still uploading. So I, I'd like to know um, who right now at this moment has an online presence when it comes to dating? Who is choosing to go online and who is saying, you know what, if I'm not going to meet them in real life, then forget about it. So what is your mode? What is your choice of trying to find your soulmate, your perfect partner right now? What's the main way that you're trying to get out there and find that person? Uh, you know, so put that in the chat. Let me know. Let me know what it is. What's your main way of doing it? And can I tell you, ladies, for those of you who are online, you have my sympathy. Um, like part of my job is going online uh, for clients and doing fishing for them because like many of you, they've they've just gotten tired of the scammers and the trolls, the predators, uh, the fakes, right? And um, you know, so it's it can really weigh on people. It can get kind of tough. Um, so Sherry says online mostly because it's convenient. Uh, Latoya, I just quit online, right? Latoya, why did you quit online? What made you decide to do that? Aiming for in person. Okay, got it. Um, okay. Deanna, want to go online but had no luck in the past. Okay. Okay. What else? What else do you ladies say? Uh, so, Deanna, uh, is it, you know, did you, did you get tired of what was happening online? Um, or was it just sort of, you know, the up and down that got to you? Just wondering about that. Huh. I'm, I'm really sorry about this, guys. The, uh, the presentation is still loading. It says it's still taking some time. Uh, hang in there, though. Don't let me lose you over this, because it's really good. It's actually really good. Oh yeah, I quit because I didn't get responses, time consuming and I'm tired. Yeah, Laura, I don't put myself out there. I feel something is going to happen. God will let it happen. Tried online, hasn't been a good experience. Ah, uh, oh, Sherry, this is a common theme too. Daily routine doesn't bring me in contact with anyone. Like, you know, women really are working more and more and we are really becoming powerhouses. Like. You know, if, if I wasn't in a relationship already, considering the amount of effort that I put into what I do, I'm not sure I'd, I'd have much time for meeting people. As it is, I barely see my friends. Um, you know, the, the, the people that I already have, like, long established relationships with, um, they're, they're really waiting for me to make time for them and and you know what like as they're getting older and they're getting busier and we seem to like be hitting peak busy time in our lives right now uh sherry work alone mostly with women 
Deanna, meeting the same type of guys that were looking for hookups. So many of them online, so, so many. So this is one thing that we're going to talk about is, is really manifesting that relationship. Um, I am still waiting for this, this presentation to load. And I don't know why it's not. Oh, we got a newbie. We got someone else who just joined in. Um, so who is this? Who is this? Uh, so joining number seven, say hi in the comments so that we know you're here. We know what your name is. And, uh, and, and we're just going to include you in the energy of the room. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to try something, you guys. Um, bear with me because I, I want to give you a sense of this presentation. And uh, I want to be able to show it to you. So if, if my image froze, it's just because I'm going into my Gmail. And I'm going to email this presentation to myself so I can bring it up on my phone so I can at least show you the slides that way. So just give me a second while I get this going. Uh, if somebody has a question, you can pop into the chat. Let me know, Sherry Barrett, bye. I don't want to burn my son's pizza. Right, a lot of people married to their jobs. Okay, so let's, let's email this presentation to myself so I can bring it up on my phone so I can at least somehow show you the slides. Um, and I really wish, I really wish it was coming up. Let's see here. Um, I want to thank you guys for bearing with me and going through pitches with me um, and, and, and just, you know, being my lovely, beautiful, amazing guinea pigs. Oh, here's something I can do. Here's something I can do. Okay, let's try something here. Um, so, application window. Laura says, I attract much younger guys. Many of them are half my age, which I don't like. I'm 51 and don't look my age. Mmm. Mmm, I like that. You know, it's interesting how, um, Laura, let's, let me ask you this question. Would you consider yourself a very confident woman? Because the number one most attractive quality to a man is, uh, is confidence. So that could very well be. They're attracted to that confidence factor. I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and save this again somehow. Again, I'm so happy that you guys are sticking with me. Hmm and letting me work through the bugs, the bug on this. So I'm gonna do a little screen share with you right now. And I'm gonna let you see what this slide is. See if I can do that. Um, see if I can do that. Hold on. Oh my goodness, you guys, technology. 
Technology is not my forte, can I tell you? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I am almost there, guys. Almost there, because I want to split screen this because I want to be able to see your comments. There we go. So I still want to see your comments. I don't want to lose you, but I do want you to see what I have here. Now, screen share, entire screen, share. Okay. So, oops, nope, I want to keep that up. Okay. So, now I'm trying to make this so I can still see your comments. Shoot. Application window. Let's see if that. Okay. All right. I think I'm getting there. Okay. So, can you tell me? Oh, look at this.
I'm gonna carry on. Okay, ladies. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Boy, are we having a problem with technology tonight, are we? Ladies, let me know. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Am I here for you? You know, I'm, I'm here for you, but am I here for you? Can you see me? I see you. You are back. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yay. Okay. All right. And all right. So let's, let's freaking get into this. Like I want to strangle my laptop right now, but I'm not going to. Um, so I put a meme up on Instagram yesterday and a lot of you guys went, Whoa. um, Hey, yes. Good, 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 good. Freaking female power. You know what? Technology is not going to win. Well, I mean, I'm going to win. So the meme that I put up yesterday, uh, you know, uh, I, I think they've already met my soulmate, but I'm afraid that I already told them to fuck off. And some of you guys, you know, hands up in the air. Me, I've been there. I've done that. Uh, and um, and and let me tell you, I think we all have one of those ones that slipped away, the one that got away, the one that you think about every now and then, and you're. And, and you just, you kind of cringe because you go, you know what? He did everything right. He said everything right. He had all this stuff to throw. It was everything I was looking for. And I was, in my case, speaking for myself, too much of a freakazoid. Like, I, I, I impressed the crap out of him in, you know, the first date. First date, I really impressed him. And it was just downhill from there. And it, it really didn't take long, like by the fifth date, um, you know, after the fifth date, uh, you know, I'm, I'm calling his office and his secretary isn't putting me through kind of thing. Um, so let me know, do you, do you have a story like that? Is there somebody like that? You know, let's, let's have a giggle over, over a moment in our lives where we were just too much for somebody. Maybe too insecure, um, maybe just too cray cray, uh, you know, whatever it was, maybe, and now you're thinking back, maybe too oblivious, right? Because there's, I've certainly had someone that, uh, you know, for me was kind of a casual thing, and, and looking back at his behaviors, looking back at the things he said, it was, it's now obvious that he definitely was falling for me. And I was just looking way over his head because from the beginning for me, it was just, you know, this, this, I was in girl mode. I was not in woman mode. I was not looking for something long term. And, and, and I look back at who he was and who he showed me. And, um, and I just, I thought, you yeah, know, you know, this, this would have been a good one. And there's, there's a few that I look back and I go, you know what? That would have been a good one if, if I hadn't been too insecure or if I hadn't been too oblivious. Sherry says, do I have one? I came in like a wrecking ball. Gemini and a Scorpio. That's me and my husband, Sherry. He's a Gemini and I'm a Scorpio. Um, yeah. Sherry was ready to overlook all the things I wouldn't accept in anyone else. That's not necessarily a good thing. Um, well, you know, although, you know, in my husband, there's, I, I definitely had to uh, come to terms with something, to accept something that I, I definitely, even I had said to him when we were just hanging out, you know, and he told me what he would do to make sure his ex-wife was happy. And and we were just friends and, and there was, I wasn't even thinking about ever dating him. And I looked at him and I said, no woman would ever put up with that. And do you know who ended up putting up with it? It was me. Uh, shut the front door. Yeah, Gemini and Scorpio. But you know what? We're both born in 72. We are both the year of the rat. So when you get into the Chinese zodiac, we are the most compatible you could actually be. Um, so yeah, so here's the point that I want to make. It is not too late. It's never too late. There are other fish in the sea. There's more, there's more, you know, 
And maybe it wouldn't have worked out the way you think it would have. Maybe this wasn't a soulmate. Maybe this was one of your wake up calls, right? And I never believed in soulmates until I got to a point with my husband where we stopped fighting and, and we and we kept not fighting. The relationship became something really, really super incredible and magical. And that's when I started to go, you know what? I, I can believe that there are people that we are destined to be with. And with those people, it will be absolutely incredible. And dare I call it a soulmate experience, right? So there is possibility for that, but you know, you kind of, yeah, I don't want you to think that, that this is, that was it. You know, you met somebody great and, and that's it. You're never ever going to meet someone great like that again. I really don't want you to think that that's the case because our thoughts, our energy, what we think, what we believe is what ends up in our path. And if that is what is going on in your head, then 100% that is what it will be. There can be no other way. So first and foremost, what you need to do is believe in your ability to attract the right partner. You have to do that. You have to have that belief. You have to remove the block, right? And and you hear this sometimes, you know, if, if you're talking to someone spiritual and they're talking about energetic blocks that get in your way, if you have the belief that the person who's right for you has already come and gone, there's no way they're going to end up in your path again in the future. So first and foremost, you know, who here believes that they can still meet their soulmate, that they're still ahead of them, that they're not behind them, that there's still potential and there's still hope? Can I get like an amen? Can I get like a yes, yeah, sister? Can I get, you know, something from you that tells me that you are on board? Deanna, insecure, uh, cheated on multiple times. A lot of us, same here, sister. Um, then was judged, told me, told me to look at myself. You know, that's projection, by the way. Um, needed to improve myself. <laughs> yeah, I stopped a few too. Um, yes, yes, yes. Boys, boys, they drive us crazy, don't they? Laura, I'm married for 14 years with them until 16. He was not who I thought he was, narcissist. I hear that word a lot, my friend. Uh, left out of the marriage five years ago. Definitely been a betterment in my life. Amen. Yes, yeah, sister, it's good. Good. I'm super happy to have you all on board with this. Um, okay, I'm gonna pop off. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up this my presentation because the damn thing isn't loading still, um, which is horrible, by the way. Um, so I'm gonna pop off. I want to take a sneak peek at my presentation. Uh, I'm going to be talking. I'm going to come back. I want to know, did you hear me? So here is uh, what we're going to learn tonight. You know, that there's hope yet. There's plenty of fish left in the sea. You're going to learn how to calm your mind. You're going to learn how to fine tune your antenna. And I wish that you could see this because it got really cute. I wrote boop, boop, boop here. Because I want you to feel like um, like you're out in the world and you've got this like beeping antenna with the light at the end at the top of your head, and um, you know I really want you to feel like you are projecting something at all time. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. Here I am, ladies. Did I disappear? Did I go away? Did something happen? Did I disappear? No, did you, could you, can you still hear me? Is can you guys all still hear me? You're frozen. Am I still frozen? Is there sound? 
sound, the pick is still interesting, interesting. Okay. Uh, so still frozen, going to refresh. Refreshing. Okay, sorry guys. So we're just refreshing the screen. <clears throat> Don't know if you can hear me right now. Okay. Hey, ladies. I am back. So you should hear me. You should see me. I am I'm not going to pop off again. This is it. I'm staying here. Um, I am staying here. I'm not going anywhere anymore. Uh, so better, better hear you see me. All right. All right, so let's keep going. God, you guys are saints, honestly. Honestly, you are amazing. God, can you feel the love right now? Oh, Latoya says frozen. Ladies, frozen? What is that? How's everything going? Can you, is, uh, oh, cancel. Okay, let's do this again. Turn the microphone on. All right. <laughs> on and off. Okay. How about now? Sound, image. Is this working out yet? Is it looking good? Am I looking fancy? How's the image? How's the sound, you guys? Oops. See. Back on live image and sound. Okay. Hi. I love you guys. No self. Don't pick nose on webinar. Um, all right. Okay. Let's do this for shizzle. So the the first step, okay, is getting you obviously to believe that he's still out there. Because you know, that that's where it starts. If, if you can't believe that, you know, your thoughts are your reality, right? So if you can't believe that he's still out there, he's just not going to be. If you believe every guy's a dick, then every guy's going to be a dick. It's very hard for the universe to break through your beliefs. So a lot of this stuff starts with your belief system. And, and when we can work with your belief system, we can just pile all the other stuff on top and it makes it a whole lot easier. So... I got you believing that he's still out there, which is amazing. I got your amens. I got your yes sisters. Now what I want you to do is I want you to calm your mind because I want you to remember that like attracts like, and I want you to understand that you will attract somebody whose vibe, whose frequency very much mirrors yours. And if you're in an anxious state of mind, if you're in an insecure state of mind, if you're in a frustrated state of mind, if you're in an angry state of mind, you will attract somebody who's in the same state of mind because we seek what's familiar, even if it's wrong for us. And so whatever state of mind that you're in, not only will you attract it, but it's going to feel like home. 
And so you're going to perpetuate it. So you're going to attract that same energy in and, and it's going to feel comfortable enough to stay. But then that's what's going to bounce it back and forth between you. So let me ask you a question. If I asked you what your state of mind is for the most part, and be absolutely brutally honest here, like, like you know, listen, there's with me included, there's eight of us here, right? So this is like among friends. Nobody's going to tell on you, uh, you know, but what is your state of mind? Like, right in the comments in the chat here tell me what it is that you feel most of the time sherry says frustrated let's get some more guys i really i want to take your temperature right now okay i want to stick that probe inside of you i want to find out where you are i want to find out what you're feeling latoya hopeless <laughs> eye rolling yeah who else who else? Deanna? Lara? What are you feeling? What, what's what's the state of mind that's, that just kind of goes through you more often than not? What is the feeling that you're experiencing? Frustrated, negative. Are you guys, are you guys seeing the commonality here? Lara, frustrated, right? Okay. So we need to change that. Right? Do you agree? If if you agree that this needs to change, uh, sorry, I feel like giving up. If you agree that this needs to change, give me an amen, sister. Give me a hell yeah. Give me an I'm ready. Give me a this shit's got to go. Give me some indicator that you agree with me that this can't continue on. These feelings, frustration, negativity. Um, you know, all the goes already taken. Jennifer, you can't come into this thinking that. Jennifer, I want you to write. Laura, thank you. Amen. Jennifer, right now, right now, I want you to write an opposite statement. I want you to put this energy out. I want you to put this in the chat and press send. Because even if you don't fully feel it and believe it, I want you to start rolling this energy inside of you. So I want you to write all, I want you to write the best one is waiting for me. The best one is out there for me. Something like that. The best one is on my path. Jennifer, do this for us. You know, you who's thinking this, I want you to be the first one to turn this around. I want you to put that opposite statement in the chat so we start this energy rolling. We start getting it out because we need to replace it, right? Like I see... Yes, Larry, you do have to be positive. Jennifer, I'm waiting for you to write that. Um, here's the thing. In this body, there's only so much room, right? Like, like I could put more blood in my veins, but that's not going to work well for me because my veins have the, it's, it's at capacity, right? Deanne, the best is still to come. Love that. Thank you, girlfriend. Um, you know, if, if I put another stomach inside of me, there's, there's, that's not going to work. There's only so much room. And that's what it's like when it comes to your emotions, right? And and if you're filled with the negative emotions, you've got to get some of those out so you can put some positive ones in. And you absolutely need to do that because this, this feeling that you have, these negative feelings, yes, Jennifer, I love you. The right one is in my path now. I oh, I got a shiver. I don't know about you, girl, but I just felt that right here in my solar plexus. So good. Thank you for that. That was super powerful. I felt it, and I'm grateful that you wrote that. Um, you need to shift some of this negative energy out so you can put some positive energy in. So you can put that right person in your path because the one you want doesn't feel like you feel right now. Am I right? The one you want does not feel how you feel right now. You don't want to be with somebody who's feeling negative, who's feeling frustrated, who's feeling hopeless. You don't want that person. Guys, write in the comments, what emotion, what main emotion do you want your future partner to have to feel, to embody, to have coming off of him like waves, like vibes. What energy do you want him to have 
to infect you with. I want to see this in the comments. What is that main emotion that you want to sense off the partner that you're going to spend lazy Sundays with? What does he feel like? Tell me, confidence, love. Oh my God, I'm getting shivers, you guys. You guys, amazing, okay? These are the feelings you need to embody. Think about who your partner is. Think about how they feel. Think about what it's like to be in their arms, home, right? So what is home? Home is comfortable, home is cozy, home is that place where you, you, when you're out in the world, you can't wait to get back to because you can you can whip off the bra and you can just get in your jammas. Let me tell you, I'm in my jammas right now. I got, I'm, I'm looking cute above the waist, but below the waist, I'm in like cozy socks and jamma bottoms, right? And that's that's home. It's, it's that place where you're just so comfortable. And you know, you gotta go out in the world and you gotta go accomplish other things, but you love being home, safety, right? But how safe would someone feel if what they're feeling off of you is frustration and hopelessness, right? They're gonna they're gonna feel protective of themselves because they're gonna be like, that's that's not a vibe, that's not an infection that I want entering my body. I'm gonna have to shield myself against that. And you don't want him to feel this way, which means you need to change your vibe so that when he comes into your vicinity. What is coming off of you feels like home to him, right? You can't think, I'm going to find a partner and then I'm going to feel better. You need to feel better and find a partner. And I'm not saying stop looking. I'm not saying take yourself out of the equation. This is where the no kissing for three months rule comes in. It gives you that time and space to keep working on yourself, to motivate yourself, to change yourself. Love is being uplifted, encouraged, motivated, inspired. Yes, honey baby, and we're doing that here, are we not? Adoration, oh man, I make my husband laugh every day because, you know, I mean, it's here's something he did. Uh, he works in a metal shop, so he's got like a piece of chalk in his pocket and he'll write like on a piece of metal and I'm fascinated with his hands. He's got the sexiest man hands ever. And and I, I peeked around his shoulder when he was writing on the piece of metal and I go, that's hot. And he just cracked up laughing because I give him googly eyes every day. And he doesn't give me, I mean, he says, I, I, I hump you every day. And, and that's great. I don't, I don't necessarily notice that he's eye humping me, but his kisses definitely tell me that he greatly appreciates me and, and that I am his world and I am his everything. And we kiss every day. So I, I really, I get to feel that coming off of him every day. So, we know that you need to feel like he's still out there. We know that you need to change your energy so that when he comes across your path, you feel familiar enough for him to lean into. And, and we know that you need to feel the way you want him to feel so that he has a sense of home himself, right? Because you want to feel like he's home to you and you want him to feel like you're home to him. So how do you do that? Meditation meditation and sherry has started meditating deanna has been meditating deanna are you still up with your meditation uh sherry sent me a message today she said i'm gonna try and, and go from 10 minutes to 20 minutes and doing 10 minutes in the morning to 10 minutes in the afternoon so i want you guys to grab some pen and paper and i want you to uh make some notes right now because I want to get you started on meditation. These negative feelings that you have, have perpetuated to the point where you need to change your brain structure in order for you to, to alter, to shift those feelings. So Lara, here's what you're gonna do. I want you guys to meditate on average a minimum of 10 minutes a day. Deanna, I also started to play positive vibrations when I listen at work. That is so good. That's a great, great, great technique. I highly recommend that. Um, now, who here thinks meditation is hard? Who thinks it might be too hard? Um, you know, who has this idea, oh my God, this, this crazy, crazy notion that meditation is clearing your mind. Let me tell you, sister, 
you are a woman you have a vagina which means you have a multitasking brain the they they actually did like like basically imaging of thought patterns from men to women and and blue lines were the back and forth and orange lines were the crossing of the hemisphere and men's thought patterns it was it was so enlightening to see this because the way that men think first of all there's a lot less lines second of all it happens a lot within the same hemisphere so their brain function is think and do and think and do and think and do and that's pretty simple and you know it's interesting because you'll ask a man sometimes what are you thinking of and, and he'll kind of go and, and he'll try to remember what was the last thought that went through his head come up with nothing and he'll say nothing and literally he literally was just zoned out he was in a nothing place um we don't we don't really go there like uh, it's 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 an effort to go to a nothing place and when you look at how our thoughts happen it's back and forth quite a bit because it's think, consider, have a conversation, consider some more, do some planning, and then do. So there's a vast difference in the way our brains function. So I don't ask you to stop thinking during meditation. I don't, I just, I just think that's unrealistic to say sit down for 10 minutes and clear your mind. Not gonna happen. I've been meditating for four years and I've been meditating like a freaking Buddha for four years. Um, I'm doing on average at least 20 minutes a day and and I still don't clear my mind like I have I have moments where I go into complete stillness and it takes effort to go there and effort to maintain it um, but I use my mind during meditation because I know it's just gonna go places anywhere so here's what you're going to do first of all commit to doing a minimum of, of average 10 minutes a day which means you know if you skip a day if you skip a second day then on the third day do 30 minutes and I want you to put a chart up on your fridge I want you to hand draw it I want you to print it out whatever your creative side what wants you to do color it in whatever you want to do make it super simple for me it was the ugliest thing you could possibly imagine because it was literally just drawn no ruler nothing and just smack it up on the fridge okay you don't need to put dates. You don't need to put days of the week. That first box is the first day, and then you just go from there. So first day, you're gonna write the minutes that you meditate. Say you skip the second day because you're not in the habit yet. Mm, X in that box. You get to the next day, and you did seven minutes, seven minutes in there. You skip the next day, X in the box. The day after you do 20 minutes, then you put 20, or you do 18, or you do 13, or you do two. It doesn't matter how many minutes you do, you write them in the box, you've earned them. If you split it up, you do five minutes and then you do 10 minutes, then you get to write a nice little 15 in that box. At the end of the seven days, count your average. So every, every minute that you meditated divided by seven is your daily average. And I want you to see, did you reach an average of 10 minutes? And if you did it, then the next block of seven days, you're gonna try a little bit harder. I want you to get to a minimum average 10 minutes a day. If you go over that, bonus, bonus, go for it. What are you gonna to meditate to? I make that part easy. You're gonna to go to my YouTube channel. So you're gonna to go to YouTube, you're gonna type into the YouTube search, Chantal Hyde. You're gonna find me and have a playlist called Let's Meditate. Now, at the top of that playlist is a little tutorial. Here is how you meditate, ladies. It is so, so easy, okay? You sit in a chair, close your eyes, you wear headphones, you plug into the music, and, and I, like I say, I'm not asking you to clear your mind. I'm just saying every time you realize you're off in thought, I want you pretending that you're looking at the space right in front of your eyes, and just bring your vision, even though your eyes are closed, bring your visual focus to that space right in front of your face. The split second that you're there is a split second that alters your brain structure. And this is what is going to make these feelings change, is changing your brain structure. This is called neuroplasticity. You're going to shrink your amygdala. This is the part of your brain 
where those feelings are coming from. Guess what? When you shrink that part of your brain, you shrink your capacity to feel those emotions. You thought maybe those feelings were hard to overcome. They're not. 10 minutes a day will change that for you, okay? Who is willing to do this? Who is jumping on board with doing these 10 minutes a day? Can, I, can somebody say, I'm in? I'd like to see who is in. Let me know, say, I'm in. Who is going to come and join me? Come, I would say the dark side, but it's not, ladies. This is the light side. So who is coming in? Deanna, Sherry, yeah, capital letters. You so are, honey bunny. Yes, who else? Laura, yes, good, good. Laura, are you, have you been to my YouTube channel yet? Have you been yet? Are you going to go tonight? Are you going to go listen to that first track? So again, I make everything so easy. The second track, so the first one is that little two minute tutorial. The second one, good, good, good. Has anybody else plugged into the love signal? So the second track on there is a 10 minute love signal. If you don't know where to start, you start with that 10 minute love signal, okay? Plug the headphones in, you sit in chair, close your eyes, listen to the music. Every time you realize you're often thought, pull your focus back to the space right in front of your face. It's going to change your brain structure just a little bit. Here's the thing, you're gonna do it again the next day. Same thing, right? Maybe you feel pulled to listen to different music. Maybe you listen to the same music. I highly recommend anything by Rich Pendlebury, which you'll see are the first few tracks up there. Um, yeah, Sherry says it's easy. So Rich Pendlebury makes meditation music for us, for me, for you, for my channel. He is producing music only for my channel. Ladies, we are special. We have one of the best binaural beats music producers. He makes this in his home in Salt Spring Islands, and he makes what I ask him for. I say, can you create me an abundance one? He made me a chakra one, which we haven't done the visual for yet, so I haven't uploaded it onto YouTube. Um, I, I, said, I said, can you make me something that just helps you get through like a traumatic thing, right? So he's, he made the reset repair. So what you need, he made the love signal. The first one I asked him for was a love signal. So he made a 10 minute and I said, can you, can you give us a longer one for the people who just wanna sit and just spend whatever time they need to with it? So he made a one hour. Um, ah, Chris Carr, good, good. Having something, right? Having something, if you feel pulled towards something, if you feel compelled, Follow that, that is your intuition, it is guiding you, it is lining things up in your path. So the very, very first step, you know, obviously is coming to a place where you believe he's out there because if you don't, he's just not, because what you believe is. The second step, calming your emotions so that you feel like home to the person you want to attract. Now, the third step is fine tuning your antenna. Right, this is the clarity step. If you don't know what you want, what are you gonna get? If you're saying, I'll know it when I see it, what are you gonna get? If you are not clear on what it is that you want, what it is that you deserve, what it is that you need in your life, what are you gonna get? It's up in the air, right? So don't leave it up in the air. Be in control. This is important, ladies. If you are going to be in the right relationship, you need to be in control. So let's get you in control. Let's get you in control of who is gonna come into your life, okay? Um, Laura, all about listening to my intuition, growing stronger in society of my marriage. Yes, good, good, good. I want you all to feel stronger. I want you all to feel empowered because here's the thing, the man you want, wants you to be empowered, wants you to be strong, wants you to be in control, wants you to feel good, 
wants you to be happy. Does this not sound like a soulmate? Does this not sound like your dream partner, Prince Charming, the perfect man? So let's get him. Let's make that dream weaver. Let's bring him in, right? Let's reel him in. Let's get the universe working for you. So here's what you got to do. And you've heard me say this at the last webinar. You have to write your perfect man list. And you have to make it long. You have to make it extensive. You have to put the kitchen sink in it. So here's the kind of stuff that's going to go on to your list. I hope you all are taking notes. I want you to think about your past relationship. Right? Did it suck? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I want you to think about what you didn't like in your past relationship, what you are no more what you are saying to yourself, I don't want to see this going forward. And I want you to turn that into an opposite statement. Okay? So like I did tonight earlier, I believe I was with Jennifer, and I said, you know, you can't say he's not out there. you got to turn that into an opposite statement because the universe responds to what you're thinking, what you're feeling. And if you're thinking and feeling negatives, it's bringing you negatives, right? If you keep saying, I don't want cancer, I don't want cancer, I don't want cancer, you might get cancer, right? If you say, I'm healthy, I'm vital, I'm healthy, I'm vital, right? That's a very different statement, and it will create a very different you. So turn everything into a positive when you're writing that list. Instead of saying, I don't want somebody who's going to cheat on me, saying, I want somebody who's devoted. Uh, if you don't say, I don't want somebody who's lazy, say, I want somebody who's a hard worker. I don't want somebody irresponsible. No, don't say that. I want a responsible man, right? So think about all these things that you didn't like in your past relationship. Turn that into a positive. Switch it around. Opposite end. Put it on your list. Now, go back into your memory. Think about your past relationships again. Think about what you liked. Think about the things that kept you there that you were afraid you would never see again. Can I tell you a little story? One of the things that kind of kept, and this might sound terrible, but one of the things that kept me holding on in moments where I was just in despair over my relationship with my husband before we got married was his penis. I love his penis. It is a beautiful penis. It is a unique penis. It is a perfect penis. And I was afraid I would never find a penis like that again. So put that on your list, right? Put that on your list. Put everything that you loved is a great cook, is affectionate, um, makes me laugh. You know, what were those things? I know, Sherry, it's enjoying that a little too much, honey bunny. <laughs> What are those things? What are those things that, yes, Sherry, you go for it, girlfriend. What are those things? What are those things that you had that you want again, that you want to make sure that you never live without? Put them on your list. Now, I want you to think about what you've never had. I want you to think about what you yearn for, what you wish for, what you see in movies, what you see your friends have, what you've never seen anyone have that you want to have, whatever it is, it's not too big, it's not too big, it's not too big, don't hold yourself back. Reach for the stars because the worst you will do is hit the top of the trees, right? So go for it, reach for the stars. Put that on your list. Some of you are feeling this right now. I can tell there's some vibes coming off this in this moment. This is good. Can somebody, I want I want a little bit of input. I love hearing from you guys. Love, love, love connecting with you guys. So somebody tell me something that's going to go on your list. Somebody share. Everybody can share just one thing that's going on that list. Sherry, I know you're already putting beautiful penis. What is it that you want? What do you want? You have every right to want. You have every right to have everything that you dream of. I don't want you to hold yourself back at all. 
I really want you to know that dreams can come true and I want you to start dreaming so that it starts happening, okay? So you're gonna make your perfect man list. This, this is part of your antenna. Here's a little bit of fascinating science here. Uh, if you hook your brain up to something that will conduct electricity, uh, Deanna, since you humor confidence, open mind and heart, love, love, Sherry, um, ethnic, really want to feel like power couple, when people see us, they just know, you know, mm, I love that. Lara, good cook, someone to laugh with, travel with, enjoys being with family and friends. Good, good, good. I want you to also think about what's a perfect weekend look like? What are you gonna do with them? Uh, <laughs> sorry. I mean, I, I knew, I knew Sherry, I knew. I knew that was, that wasn't the word. I wasn't sure which one. Um, but yeah, I really want to feel like a power couple. I get that. Um, I want you to feel like, you know, what's a perfect day on a Sunday, on a Saturday, after work? You know, what is it that you do together? What do you, what do you want to accomplish together? Um, where would you like to go together? Uh, what kind of activities do you want to do together? Put all that on your list. I really want you to imagine who he is and imagine what he likes, imagine what he enjoys, imagine his personality, his character, his quirks. I really want you to picture who this person is and like like a Lego, right? Just build him piece by piece by piece by piece and put all those pieces on that piece of paper. Um, so if you attach a, a, a conducive wire to your brain into a light bulb, you can actually light up a light bulb. There's electrical pulses that emit from your brain. So your brain emits electricity. Now, have you guys ever thought of a friend and a moment later that same friend sends you a text message, you know, on your cell phone and you went, oh my God, I was just thinking about you. Well, guess what? We are like cell phones, right? Cell phones. They're, they're, elect they're powered by electricity. You gotta recharge them, right? You gotta recharge your battery. And they emit frequencies because that's what a text message is, is you type in a message, you press in, and it goes to an external tower, gets delivered to another device, and there pops the message, right? And so, you know, obviously frequency is going back and forth between us if we're thinking about somebody and then they message us at just right that moment it happens more often than not, and you go, oh my God, there's some psychic connection going on here. So understanding that what is happening in your mind is creating things in real life is super vital to ensuring that you are bringing that person in. And so you're gonna create that perfect man list, but again, he needs to recognize you, right? And you want him to be you know, you want him to be someone you can laugh with, which means you need to feel light, right? You can't feel heavy, you can't feel burdened emotionally. Um, confident, right? You have to feel confident too. And again, um, I have started a list, Lara says, <laughs> I love that. Start a list in Word document, good girl. Um, now confidence is the number one most attractive quality to the type of man that I want to steer you towards. <clears throat> now, men love confidence, guys don't. Guys love it when you're emotionally and mentally unstable because it makes you easier to control. They can call you crazy when you start calling them out on their shit. They can, they can reverse things on you. Um, they can say, you need help, you need to change, right? And if you're not strong enough in the face of something like that, they like that because now you're doubting yourself and, and they don't need to tear apart your self-esteem. You're tearing it apart for them. They don't need to make you insecure. You're making yourself insecure for them. And all this makes you super easy to control and, and keep under their thumb, right? So guys like it when you're not confident. Men want you to be confident. And when you are not confident, that's when they start not being attracted to you. Because here's the thing, men are good cavemen, and good cavemen need to be confident, they need to be bold. 
And, and again, we look for people who match us in feeling. And so they're looking for a woman who's confident and bold like they are, right? So here's another exercise. And this is the I am exercise. So I am beautiful. I am curvy. I am fit. I am powerful. I am confident. I am friendly. I am kind. I am funny. You see where I'm going with this? All of these statements are positive and they need to be because you need to feel positive about yourself, right? So I want you to make another list and this is the I am list and I want you to write 55 O, not 15, 5 O, 50 I am statements that are positive about yourself. And this may take some time. And this may take some work, but I need you to do that so that you shift your perception about yourself. Because again, your perception is your energy and your energy is coming off of you. And when the right partner is crisscrossing your path and picking up on your energy, you want him to pick up on the right vibe. And you want that vibe to be confident. And you want it to be, you, you want him to understand that you know who you are and you own your space in the world, just like he does. Let me tell you, I fell in love with my husband the moment I saw him walk. And I saw the way he planted his feet, heel, foot. He owned that step but he didn't own it with a brute force. He owned it with a light, graceful confidence. And everything inside me just exploded. And that was it. That was the moment that I went from, it's a nice guy to, that's a hot man, oh my God. And I couldn't wait to see him again. And I couldn't get him off my mind. And he started to become my everything. And it was his confidence that did that. I, I can't wait for you guys to see him in the documentary. By the way, I have no idea what this footage looks like. I'm, I'm gonna see it once they get through the editing and they show me the first version of the editing. And because I literally left the house when he was doing his part. But I'm really looking forward to seeing him. I'm, I'm gonna see him on TV basically, right? Because I'm going to see him on a screen. And it's the production company that I hired. This is network quality. They make documentaries for global TV. They make commercials for Hydro One. Um, like, this is, this, is, this is top tier, my loves. And, and they're putting together a documentary about me and my life and my husband and our experience and how we, how we got, you know, together and it almost all fell apart and how we managed to bring it back together and not only stay together, but thrive and grow our love. And, and it just, I mean, it, it grew again this past week. My husband leveled up again this past week. He started loving me more again. He keeps leveling up. It's, it's amazing. So you need to know yourself know your good qualities you've, you've done enough thinking about your negative qualities and you've done too much thinking as far as I'm concerned about your negative qualities and now you've carved those into your brain and we need to undo that shit we need to recreate your brain put it in a more positive place we're gonna do some neuroplasticity you're gonna do some meditation you can do these exercises that tell you what kind of man you deserve and that you deserve him because you need to shift your energy because the universe is waiting for you it is waiting for you to step into the space where you say, I'm here and I'm ready. Let's get some work done. Because the universe, that's your first boyfriend right there. This is your first boyfriend. But if you don't engage it, if you don't put it on your side, if you don't work in conjunction with it, and if all you're doing is letting it beat you up because all the information you're feeding it is I feel like shit and everybody is shit and there's nothing good for me out there. 
you are not helping yourself and I want you to work for you but you know what I'm gonna step up first okay I'm gonna step up first and I'm gonna work my ass off for you I'm going to bring you this content I'm going to teach you how to get there I'm gonna tell you the steps they are fail safe they are fail safe you know why because they're science like this sounds really spiritual but it is scientific and it will work for you. You just have to do it. You just got to trust me. You just have to do what I tell you to do. That's it. That's all. So easy. Okay. So doing that will begin the manifestation process. It's going to start putting him in your path. This soulmate, this incredible person, the one that's going to make you so happy. You're going to have happy cries. You're going to poop yourself with happiness. It's going to be so amazing. Um, and so now you're meditating. Now you've written out this super long extensive list about who this person is, including the kitchen sink, because frankly, you're going to have to cross them off because nobody is everything. And that's okay because every relationship requires some compromise and you're ready for it. You're just not going to cross off your deal breakers, but you left some space to cross off some of the less significant things. And you've now elevated yourself by coming to a point where you're going, you know what? I'm pretty freaking awesome. I got it going on and I deserve that man because I meet him where he's at. And now what I want you to do is when you are meditating, right? Remember how I said I don't expect you to not think? To, you can use your mind during meditation. Here's one of the things that you can do. You can start imagining who that partner is. Start seeing them in front of you. Start seeing yourself having experiences with him. Those things that you put on your list that he does because you do them and you want to do them with him, start doing them in your head. Are you going to the gym, Sherry? Are you going to horse riding together? What are you doing together? What experiences are you sharing? Guys, uh, give me a little pop-up in the comments here. Let me hear your voice. Um, tell me something that you will do with your perfect partner, maybe on a lazy Sunday, maybe on a trip, maybe you're going to go kayaking in Hawaii. Uh, yes, Sherry, damn, you sure are. Uh, maybe you're going to go travel to Rome. Maybe you're going to go to Paris and climb up the Eiffel Tower. Maybe, you know, Deanna, you're going to go uh, take a walk around the St. Jacob's Market. What are you going to do with that perfect partner? What is something that you're going to visualize yourself doing with them? So let me know what that is. And I want you to, when you're meditating, I want you to go there and do that with them. When you're driving in your car, this is a perfect moment to zone out and use your imagination. Imagination is so key. Imagination is creation. So when you're in your car, you're driving to work, you're driving home from work, driving to the grocery store, driving to Toronto. Uh, imagine yourself doing something with that perfect partner. In the morning, if you got a couple, you know, if you, you press the snooze on your alarm clock and you're laying in bed, Take a moment to imagine this person coming into your life. And at night, when you go to bed and you got the lights off and you snuggled in under the covers and you haven't fallen asleep yet, imagine something with him. So start engaging your imagination. Start seeing him. And not just seeing yourself doing things with him. How do you feel when you're beside them? So let, you know, that, that feeling of home, let it come into you, Deanna. Travel, explore, a Caribbean destination, right? Such a beautiful thing. What does it feel like? How are you feeling when you're beside them at this Caribbean destination? Do you feel happy? I bet you feel happy. I bet you feel joyful. I bet you feel grateful. I bet you feel warm and fuzzy inside. I bet you feel a sense of love. So let yourself go there, relax, close your eyes. Imagine this person beside you. Imagine them holding your hand. And imagine 
the feeling that you get. You know, do you ever do you ever hold someone's hand and you can feel the love coursing from them into your body? So feel that. So start engaging that. Because the first step to finding your soulmate is belief. Belief that he exists. Belief that you deserve them. Belief that he deserves you. Belief that you can have those feelings with him. And when you tie all that together, now you start engaging the universe and the universe starts working in your favor and it starts putting that person in your path. But here's the thing. You need to make space for them to step into. So if you have a Klingon, you know what I'm talking about? If you have an ex that you're waiting for them to clear out of your space, you need to clear them. I want you to take that step. I want you to make that decision. I want you to say to yourself and then to them and then to the universe that this energy, this person, this type no longer belongs and I will shut it off because I'm not waiting for circumstance anymore. I am in control. I'm taking control. And I'm putting this person in my space by removing the person that's currently occupying it that doesn't deserve to be there. So have that tough conversation, guys. Listen, what you want takes courage. And if you don't have the courage to clear your space, then he doesn't have a space to come into. So if there is an ex that you need to cut the ties with, say to them, this is hard for me to say because we have all this history, but I need to move on. And I need to make space for my future partner and that means that I need to let this go. So I'm not going to talk to you anymore. I'm not going to let you text me anymore. I'm not going to let you message me on Facebook anymore. I'm going to take you off of my Facebook page because I can't have the distraction. I'm going to say bye to Deanna. Bye. Um, I can't have the distraction anymore, right? Because it is distracting. So you shut it down. You turn it off because you being that powerful helps your soulmate come into your life. So that's, that's an X. That's what you do by your X. Now, if you're online, I want you to no longer reply to people who show a low level of attention. So anybody who does not make it obvious that they have read your profile does not get a response back. It is delete, delete, delete. That's it. Don't make space for people who are not giving you the sort of emotional investment. If they haven't taken the time, the two minutes it took to read the words that came out of your heart and that you put into your profile, they don't care about your heart. So don't open the door to your heart, to those people. You need to keep the space clear. And again, no kissing for three months means you're not going to fill it with somebody who hasn't proven themselves either. Because anybody who's not willing to take the time to prove themselves is somebody who isn't interested in earning somebody. And the man you're looking for is a hard worker. And he wants to earn what he has. And when he earns your heart, he feels like more of a man. That's the type of person you're looking for. My husband still works to this day to keep my heart, to maintain my heart, to maintain my love. He's a hardworking man. He works 100 hours a week. And he still works to love me and make love a verb. 
that's the kind of man you want to be with. So I want to know, you know, this this is today's lesson. And and the next one, I I'm thinking should be um, how do you get out into the world? How do you get offline? And how do you create more opportunity offline? And how do you create opportunity beyond the people that are just coming to you? How do you open even more doors to the people who are out there in the world? This is what I think the next one should be. But I want to know from you, what do you guys want to hear next? What do you want to know Next, yes, Sherry, make love a verb, absolutely. That, that's, that's what a relationship is because love is service, right? Like my husband's love language is acts of service. And so every day I say to him, can I do something for you, right? So I, I turn love into a verb because I know he needs love as a verb. And one of my love languages, like I have two physical affection words of affirmation. So... When I say to my husband, I need you, I need you to put your arms around me, tell me everything is going to be okay. Like I said, he works 100 hours a week. It is crazy busy in his shop sometimes. And, and he, he, he'll have super stressful days at times because, you know, people don't call. They just come. They show up. They drop stuff off. They say, I need, can I wait? I need, I need it now. And when people call and they say, can you do something, you know, he'll say, you know, can you wait two weeks? But then in the meantime, he's got people showing up and dropping stuff off and wanting it right away. So he can get super overwhelmed. Although he, I mean, he, he holds it together, but he can get really busy. But even in those moments, if I say to him, I, I need a minute, I need some of your time. He is there putting his arms around me, telling me everything is going to be okay. So I want to know the next webinar is going to be next Tuesday. What's the topic? What do you want? Do you want to learn how to get out into the world, how to open more doors, how to meet more people, how to respond to that little tickle inside if you see somebody from across the room, how to choose from more than just the people who are choosing you, how to become a selector and let them know that you're available and you want them to come in and talk to you. Give me some feedback, you guys. What is the next topic? So I'm going to wait for you guys to comment on that, and I'm going to put this up. <clears throat> so this is, oh, I wish I could show you the slide. So basically what, what I'm kind of tapping you into here is my personal coaching. So out in the world. Sherry says out in the world. So we got one vote for out in the world. If, if there was another topic, if there was a different topic, I want you to let me know. If you agree with out in the world, let me know about that. And if you, if you want help, and, and I call this the step-by-step -step because, you know, there's, there's a lot of concept in this but sometimes you need motivation, sometimes you need help, sometimes you need a little bit of a push, sometimes you need clarification. And our, our brains are habitual. So there's a lot of thought patterns that are going on and they, they can get in your way, they can create some insecurity, they can create blockages, they can make it difficult to, um, to understand other people's behavior. Like, like sometimes what gets in our way is simple misunderstandings, like not fully understanding. Laris is out in the world. We got two boys for out in the world. How to get him to speak to me? That's that's out in the world, Jennifer. So we got somewhere out in the world. Good stuff. All right, ladies. So next week, next Tuesday, we are addressing how uh, how to meet out in the world, how to open those doors, how to get him talking, how to engage people, how to create more conversations, more opportunity get beyond the computer screen, maybe deeper in the computer screen, but just really creating more for yourself because he is out there and he is waiting for you. And I want to teach you how to go, hey, I'm here. I'm available. What do you think? Let's get this started, right? So I'm going to teach you how to do that next week. This is going to be exciting. This talk is going to be about 
courage because it, it takes courage to go up to a stranger and start a conversation and let them know that your door is open, right? So this, this webinar next week, we're gonna talk about courage and technique. So those two definitely go together. You're gonna to need them both. And I'm gonna teach them both to you. And I put an offer up and this is basically my one-on-one. -on -one. So what it is, it's, it's getting you step by step towards that person. So if you need some help, uh, if you need like an accountability, like, you know, I'm, I'm the coach here, right? So I'm the one that you're like, I need some motivation. Uh, I, need, I need to understand why my brain is doing this right now. Um, somebody sent me a text message and I need to know what to reply or I need to know how to read this because the way that I look at it, I'm feeling like it's negative, but I'm not sure. I'd like some feedback. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to make sure that you keep moving forward and that you don't move backwards. This is all about creating a forward momentum, that snowball effect for you to get into that right relationship, we need to, woo, 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 this is the love train, right? Like I've said this before a few times, let's get on the love train. So I'm doing these webinars to help you get the concept, to help you get the technique, to help you get the knowledge. But if you need that extra push, then I want you to lean into getting coaching with me because you will not believe how fast you go forward when you don't go backwards anymore. And I push you beyond that place that you're in. I really do. I really get you moving outside of your box. And yeah, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but I make it easy and I make it comfortable. Um, so I do encourage you to, to really go and, and take a look at what that offer is. Um, I do a special when you buy in bulk. So if you just get like a one off for a session, like one session is 125, but if you buy five, then I, I take $25 off each one. So basically you're getting five, um, you know, at $100 a session. So it's $500 for five, whereas for five it would be, oh, it's five times 125. <laughs> you know what, I'm telling you guys numbers, is that 625? Numbers don't work in my head, one bit. So if, if, if you were buying five individuals, it would be 625, but when you buy five in bulk, then it's just $100 each. Um, and, and I love, 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 love working with people because I feed off of your progress and your progress becomes fantastic and amazing and you just start busting through things like gangbusters um, and it's, it is just, so much fun. Um, so I am going to wrap this up. This will stay up for you for as long as you stay. Uh, and we're gonna meet back here next Tuesday. Now, I'm gonna send you a link so that you can sign up for the next webinar, but there should be a link on that one. And I, I only, like this platform is very new to me. Um, and so I only, uh, sort of added this link further on down the road after some of you have signed up where you can be signed up automatically for the next webinars coming up in this series. So I'm gonna send you a link to the next webinar and you, you should be able to check something where you can just be automatically signed up for the next ones that are coming up. And at the next one, I'm gonna teach you how to get further out into the world. So, you know, this one was about being with yourself and fine tuning your antenna. And the next one is about getting out and creating more opportunities with those quality people. And because you've been doing this work between now and then, before you start doing that, it means that your vibe will have changed, your energy will have changed. And those opportunities are going to start lining up. And I'm gonna get you to start recognizing them and opening those doors and letting those people in because those people are not like the other ones. If you have done this work and you've changed your vibe, you've changed your vibration, then you are shifting what is lining up in your path. 
and you are shifting who you're feeling attracted to, which means you're shifting your intuition. And I'm going to get you tapping into that and opening those doors. Now, uh, I want you guys to feel free to email me. Um, like if you feel like you want to have a conversation before you buy some sessions to kind of test things out and see if this is right for you, then send me an email, reply. You know, I'm going to be sending you an email for a link for the next webinar. Hit reply and say, you know, Chantal, um, I want to talk to you and, and, and see what it is that you can do for me. Or I'm curious about this. Can you tell me more? Uh, you know, let me know where you're at and, and I'm going to arrange a phone call with you and we'll get on the phone and, and, and discuss what your goals are, where you are right now and how I can help you get to where it is that you want to go. Um, so I'm popping back in the chat. I need to say good night. Yes. Good night, Lara. Good night, Sherry. Um, yeah. So good night, ladies. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I will see you here at 8 o'clock next week. Good night.